They say the sea is the last unexplored frontier on Earth. And I would have to agree, because what we're looking at is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Now that's saying a lot coming from a five foot tall talking turtle. What started out as a test run of the new shell sub quickly turned into a discovery of bizarre proportions. Of course, all exploratory missions should be undertaken with great caution. If you venture into new territory unprepared, it can really come back to bite you in the shell. There's no one better. Watch out for Shredder. They're like no others. There's Teenage Brother. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Jesse here, and welcome to another installment of Let's Watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 series. All right, so we just clear city at war. Mm. That's a scratch. Um, sorry. I'll check that out later. Anyway, we just cleared City at War arc, and now we're just moving on to the uh, rest of the seasons, and which lead up to the uh, one of my favorite arcs of all time in season two. So there's Darlin Space, uh, Secret Origins, uh, City at War, and then there'll be another absolutely amazing arc. I, I won't go into any more details until you see it for yourself. All right, so um, let's get this show in the world, shall we? Junk Atlantis. <laughs> okay, it's like Atlantis. Junk Atlantis. Helm, three degrees north northeast. Three degrees north northeast, Captain. Should be smooth sailing into the harbor once we get through this fog. Sir, it wasn't there a second ago. That's impossible. Actually, whoa, that is definitely not a whale. Whoa, Captain, we have a breach. We're going down, sir. All hands, abandon ship. Abandon ship. <laughs> definitely abandon ship. I'm surprised it didn't get anyone. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't get anyone. In the third such event in the last month, the freighter has disappeared. So I'm guessing everything calmed down at the city of war. So, yeah. So I'm guessing this won't be the last. This won't be the last time we see him in the boys. Let the ceremony begin. Hey, is that the turtle sub? I christen thee. The shell sub. Oh, shell sub, sorry. Excellent work, my son. It makes one think of the giant undersea turtle of Japanese mythology. Now that the underwater access way is completely finished, it's time to take the shell sub on her maiden voyage. Can I launch her? Can I? <laughs> Can I? Careful, Mikey. If you even put one scratch on it. <laughs> and <laughs> hopefully not a dent. Thanks a lot, Mikey. Just what I needed. Another bath. <laughs> Dibs on the first ride! First mate Michelangelo, ready to launch, sir! Auga! Auga! Dive! Dive! Auga! <laughs> oh god. Mikey's my first mate. Wish me luck. <laughs> Poor Donnie. Ooh, Britannia! Britannia rules the waves! I don't know! Words to this stinky song. All I know is pretend. Ow! Initiating launch sequence. Britannia, Britannia, get this way. I also don't know the other words to this song. Oh man. Blowing ballast tanks. Dive, dive, dive. Wow. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having a sub like that. Is that Pretty cool.
This is very, very cool. Yeah. Let's take her deeper. Get to have a history lesson as well. <laughs> uh, Donnie, what's that? A car? It's a car. Um, what's that car doing on the bottom of the river? About 20 miles per hour. How's that even possible? Um, let's say, um, Ingenuity or something, or something like that. Actually, it looks like it's salvaging parts. Hmm. On the line. Let's check it out. Yeah, I think they convert a land card into a sea car. Which actually is a good idea. I wouldn't mind driving at the bottom of the river or something. New York's got a traffic problem even at the bottom of the river. But where are they all? Whoa. Whoa. You, you don't suppose that could be Atlantis, do you, Donnie? Atlantis is a myth. And even if it isn't, I don't think it's a suburb of New York. Yeah, so what? So it would be as the title would say. It's not Atlantis. It's Junk Lantis. Yep, that was alright. Let's just back off a bit. This is getting really creepy. Um, I think it just got creepier. Oh boy. <laughs> no! What is that? I don't know, but it's got us! <laughs> oh no! Officially, one of the creepiest experiences of my life. You think? Now what? Come on, let's go. I think it's gonna work. Yep. Forget coming in peace. I really wish we brought our weapons. So kinda wet out today. <laughs> Make him like talk, I'll be my Jonah trapped on this whale thingy. <laughs> Where do you think they're taking us? I have a feeling we're about to find out. Gonna find out who wears the perfume. Oh my god! The garbage man? Yes! And he went into the river! In this river! Exactly. Yes, this river, my river. Oh, we never see him what again. This? Silence! Ouch! First rule, my friends. I talk, you listen. <laughs> you know, I should. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky for Mikey because he does not shut up. Path. 
Dumping me in the river opened my eyes to a world of hidden treasure just waiting to be salvaged. So thank you. You're not welcome. I'm actually pleased that you're here. I've often wondered what you are. Now I'll be able to find out. Sir, our man on the dock says the target is weighing anchor. Perfect. Everything is on schedule. Assemble the men. I wish to speak to them. Take these two to the brig and hold them there. I'll want to dissect them later. Yeah. <laughs> dissect them? Gross. You know, Mikey, I think now is the right time for what we talked about earlier. Sounds good to me. Yeah! Woo! They stole the uniforms, okay. Aren't you a little short for a junk trooper? Very funny. <laughs> oh, stormtrooper! Oh, uh, junk trooper, stormtrooper, Star Wars, oh my you god. You, my followers, know <laughs> that I believe garbage is power and are salvaging the various wrecks and refuse littering the bottom of the sea has proven my words. We have grown in power and strength. We no longer have to only pick the leavings from the bottom. We now make our own wrecks to salvage. We have sunk ship after ship unchallenged. And our next prize awaits on the surface. A cruise ship loaded oh with wealth. A cruise ship? All those innocent people? Uh, not really. No Some could be can like spiteful. I thought, I don't know, something like that. Uh, this ain't good. This cruise ship will be our greatest prize yet. <laughs> Once more into the breach. Now's our chance. Come on. Hey, there's the shell sub. Let's take it and get out of here. We have to stop the garbage man from sinking that cruise ship. Come on. Yeah, it's better to do the better to um Stop them before heading back home. Target dead ahead. Prepare to send her to the bottom. Activate tentacle arms. Full speed to surface. I'm sorry. Every time he speaks, I hear Eggman, Doctor Eggman. He's good. I'm sorry, Mike Pollack is actually one of the best voice actors I hear. I mean, yeah, he's been Dr. Eggman, uh, Dr. Eggman for so many years now, so kudos to the guy. Oh, dear God. A lot more. Woo, that was close. That's gonna be a lot harder than it sounds. Yeah. Get this trash off my bridge. Oh, you're the one to talk trash. You freaks. This time, you won't escape me. Tanks. Got it. Oh. 
Okay. Time to ventilate, crap boy. Crap boy? He what? Oh my god. Ooh. Ow, nasty head butt. Okay, this must be the acceleration module. Good. Accelerate it somewhere else. We're about to hit that ship. Yeah, please. Come on. Come on. Okay, that got rid of the tentacles. Come on. Come on, Donnie. What? Whoa! Wow. That missed the ship. Very nice. Okay, that was good. Now how about stopping it? I've got a better idea. Let's bag two birds with one stone, shall we? Oh, okay. A change of course and... Voila! Ah, Teddy for Junk Lantern! wicked! I like it! Um, you guys want to get out of here? Oh! There's no change it back now! To get out of here. Yeah, you guys gotta get out of here. To the shelf, sub boy wonder. Oh god. Star Wars is now bat no, like... Batman or something? Yeah, get Batman Boy up. Wonder. Get the shell sub powered up. Get the doors open. But won't that flood the room? Duh! The shell sub doesn't float in the air, Mikey. Now let's move it! Come on, hurry, hurry! Come on, start! <sighs> Mikey can't get the door open! How do we get the door open? And... Oh, that worked. Quick, get, get in, Mikey! Donnie, hurry up! I can't get the engines to start! Oh, that's bad. And they're about to crash. Start! No kid, he can say that! That's not gonna hit! Come on! Come on! Yes! Awesome! Yeah. <gasps> oh, he does not stay down. The garbage bin? Please. Please 
tell me it is. It's about time you guys surfaced. We were getting worried. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? <laughs> they still Long left it. They, they still have it on. They still have it on. Long story. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I think there's, I think there's one more episode before there's another two-part um, arc or filler, as they call it. So yeah, I, um, I actually hope you guys actually like that episode. So uh, post uh, what you think. Uh, uh, um, post what you think down below. Or if, hey, if you guys want a shout out, feel free to post a comment below or on my Twitter feed. I'll be happy to do it. Okay. So anyway, um. Yeah, I guess there's nothing much we can say. Uh, by the way, before I go, um, I want to say kudos to Mike Pollock, who I, I think that's how I pronounce his last name. Pollock. I think it's Pollock. Yeah, Mike Pollock for the voice of the garbage man, aka or or his voice is Dr. Eggman. I kudos to you guys. Kudos. So thank you so much for being like one of the best voice actors of our time. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for me. So this is uh, Jesse from Jesse Order Productions, and I am signing off. You guys, actually, take care of yourselves, okay? Bye.